and I'm Patrick Case. I'm the president of National Reader Board Supply and we're here in today's video. We're going to show you the difference between the basic letters in the industry. Now that we don't have them all here, but we've got a nice array of probably covers about 80% of everything you see out there in the market. We're going to start with the most common one. This is an 8 on 10 and it's considered a rigid plastic letter and you can see here it is flexible but it's not, you can't, it's not super flexible. It's, it's pretty firm. These are, these are on a thick acrylic. They're super durable letter. I mean, these letters will last six, eight, ten years in most brands. Uh, we sell the highest quality ones, which will give you a nice longevity. The next one is this exact same style. It's the same type of letter. It's a very rigid, durable letter, but this is a six on seven. Those are the two most common sizes. A brand that I need to show you is this brand right here, and it's called a Gemini. And the difference is that, again, is just about the exact same. It's semi-flexible. But what's different about this is these little feet here. I'm going to hold still for a second so the camera can get in on this. And these little feet are what make these letters unique. Gemini is the only one that uses these letters, the, or these feet. They fit in the tracking, the same as all the other letters. They're completely compatible. If you put these two letters together on your reader board, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. But uh, the only difference is, is these little feet. The next most common one is, if you've all seen them, it's got the flashing arrow on the top of the sign, and you'll understand why I was talking about flexible. This is a flexible letter. When you can bend it over and touch the tips of the letter together, you know that you've got flexible lettering. And they come in different sizes, but even on the small sizes, in fact, I happen to have one right here, even on the small sizes, you can bend them over and touch the ends of them together. So that's how you know if you have flexible lettering. The last most common one, and you see these in the movie theaters, uh, in the older movie theaters, um, and a lot of Arby's have these. They are a dimensional letter. They've got a dimension to them, and they are got slotting in the back. Again, I'm going to hold still so that you can see the slotting in the back of the letter here. And these are designed for the tracking system to where they actually hang on the tracking as opposed to going into the tracking. Appreciate your time. We're going to keep these videos short so that we can get a lot of information to you without boring you. That's the basics of it. If you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see that you have that we don't have in our library, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to make one for you. We're here to help your business make more money for you. I'm Patrick Case. Thank you very much.